Hello everyone this is Ultimate Public Entertainment. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another interesting episode of Karen Shenanigans. Take a look. In this first clip, a Karen was spotted in the wild doing what she knows best, that is, harassing some young girls and also claiming that the public street is her property. Take a look. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Please. I'm over easy. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Literally, don't touch me. You know what? I have. Do you, do you see this? Do you see this? I've, I already have a chip. Do you see this? That's fine. That's fine. I, I, well, I, I feel sorry for her. That's her roommate. You know what I have? What? What do you have? Bodies. I'm here to tell you right now. Karen? We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. That, well, okay. I've already had it. That's, that's, you have, that's okay, great for you. That's okay, great for you. My that's great for you. Don't touch me, well, lady. You know Please don't touch me. You know what? Don't touch me. Do not touch me. I'm off your property. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what you guys are doing. Thank you. Get out. You're literally, you're literally taking pictures. No, because you were driving somewhere and we're over here minding our business and you're doing way too much. I think he's waiting for you. Are you waiting for her? Doesn't matter. She's taking so long. I'm so sorry. Bothering a bunch of girls just for taking pictures. Thank you. It's not your property to take pictures. Go away. These Karens will never learn to mind their own business. Who is she to tell someone where or when to take or not to take pictures? Unbelievable. In this next clip, a customer at Walmart was told that one of their policies is not to give back a customer a cash refund that is over $10. What do you think of such a policy? Take a look at this. Call uh, uh, refund in cash, please. I mean, just now, I just left. Um, I just giving us an option of a gift card or a debit card. Back on the debit card for um, the only time. Count number eight two six cash. I don't have three to ten days to wait on my refund. The law says you have to give your customers an option. Can you show me that law? I would really appreciate just get. I don't have to show you the law, man. I know my rights. I just want my refund in cash. That's simple. That's simple. I've done it before. I can do it again. We can do only do that if it's oh, under $10. Yes. When it's over $10, we can't. Based on your policy? Yes, sir. Not the law? Based on our policy. So that's what we have to do is what our policy is. Uh -huh. But I'm going by law. You can go to a different Walmart and maybe they'll do it. I didn't buy it from, I didn't buy it from a different Walmart. I bought it from this Walmart. I paid debt. I used my debit card, yeah. which is the same as cash. Time. So I'm going to return. I'm going to refuse it right now. And what's your name? My name's Jeannie. I'm the front end manager. And what's your name? I'm Michelle. It's right here. Thank you, Jenny. I'm Michelle. And that's me. You're recording, but that's okay. And this is the Walmart in York County, South Carolina, everybody. Yes, sir. Thank you. You can leave now. Yeah, you can leave, right? We'll call the PD. 20 minutes later. Y'all won't believe this. The same customer went to a different Walmart location and got his refund back in cash. Take a look. 20, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50, This information is for context sake. The customer wanted cash for a debit card transaction, which I totally believe is in his right. Debit is the same as cash, don't you think? Let me know in the comment section. Up next, who do you think is in the wrong on this one? The homeowners or the construction workers who were apparently just doing their job? Watch this. I'm going to call the city. I'm calling the city. I've got the email and the paperwork right here. Y'all are not supposed to start before 8 o'clock on Saturday. Per city ordinance. We're pulling the paperwork up right now. Do so. Music at six o'clock in the goddamn morning, right 
run my house. No, it was not. No, it was not. I know it's the time you woke me up. You know, I have I have I don't give a what you got. I know what time you woke me up. I will be calling the city because per ordinance, y'all are not supposed to start on Saturday. Do whatever you want. I will. Come around this moment again and see what I do to you. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm not with y'all no more. You try to be nice, y'all park all in front of our house, leaning dirty in our house up, we're sick of Who's parking there? You people that have to park, then all your guys leaning up against the house, I have to pressure wash the whole house because y'all. You know, Yes, motherfucker, when they working her up? Look, there's a GC office right there, you can go and Goddamn GC, because he knows good will, y'all. Well, you can complain to them, they got to come to us, there's a problem. Morning. And there's a way you have to come out with a Yes, because I already told you to stop blasting it two hours ago. For music? If you're gonna music? get it out, you have to Makes use sense. it. Makes a lot of sense. Bring your this side of the street again. Yes, sir. You have a wonderful day. Hey, Let's go. It's obvious that the homeowner was very upset with those construction workers for starting their work way too early at around like 6 a.m. in the morning. And I totally understand where he's coming from. But threatening them, I think, was way out of line. All he had to do was call the city and file a complaint. In this next clip, do you think this rental car customer smoked in the car based on our argument you be the judge take a look at this i do not smoke in that car you can see the ashes ma'am i had the door open standing there at the door at the car i was not in the car so, ma'am i'm not i'm not known for a liar i'm sorry I'm you're kidding. pissing me off with what because i didn't smoke in the She just said, you, <laughs> the, all the, like the whole body, like the whole inside of the car is ashes. And I knew they smoking. So based on Karen's testimony and a reaction after being questioned about smoking in the car, do you think she did it? Let me know in the comment section. In this next clip, you are going to be watching a customer complain about an employee at Papa John's who initially refused to give her an order because she was not parked properly. After her order was given to her, guess what? The order was wrong. Take a look at this. Wrong one, not my order. You almost gave me someone else's order. The last name. Shane. The last name. Shane. Are you having a hard day? Hey, you can get off my car. What? Let me go off your Is the manager here? Are you the manager? No. Oh. Is there a manager here? Oh, my daughter came in here. They re he refused to give her her order that was already paid for because. I put that right there. Oh, 
And when she walked in to get it, he refused to give her her order. Yeah, Just then he told me, because she goes, my mom's right there. He goes, I don't care. You're not getting your order until she moves her car. He refused to give her her order. That's definitely not cool. And there's nothing that has that policy on there or anything. And I'm not parked there because I'm in the car. Yeah. Then he gave me the wrong order. He gave me the tone. He asked for the name. Shane. Last name, Shane. Did you hear that part? Where he gave me the wrong order? And then he came back and he goes, I almost had somebody's three-part order. And I go, this isn't our order. I could just walk. And then he goes, last name? I said, Shane. Last name? Last name. I go, Shane? I said, last name. I go, you had a hard day. Is that the manager? No, this is just one of the drivers. Oh, sorry. Yes. Who's the manager? Uh, so we have a couple different engines that rotate around, but no one's here right now. At the moment, it, it just stepped up because I had to go right to the bank for one of the bad oh, my drops gotcha. off. Well, you're awesome. What's your name? My name is Kate. Kate? Kate, yeah. I'm Hi, one of Kate. the newest employees here at the moment. But I am really sorry for the inconvenience with all of that. It's definitely not fun. Yeah. I, I, you must be having a bad day, so good luck yeah. with your Friday. Wait a minute. Am I the only one that felt like the customer was kind of condescending? With that question, are you having a bad day today? Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. In this upcoming clip, these couples calls the cops on two guys who were just taking a walk behind their home on a paved public street. Guess what? The couple claims to own the public street. Take a look at this shenanigans. He pulled an old survey that I another understand. company done back years ago. I pulled all these sur same surveys. Listen to me. He adequately marked all the points, shot the laser through there where your property is. I own 15 foot from the center of the road over. It's a county, right? 15 foot six is mine. And the further it gets back this way, bub, the greater it gets. Why can't you understand that? I have proven it time and time again. My friend and I, my friend and I walked to the end of the road, and we're trying to walk back, and they started because we have the right to walk. Why are you back? I don't need to answer that question, sir. Okay, then turn around and put your hands okay. behind you back. Why are you arresting me? Because you're being charged with trespassing. Okay. Why are you back here? I was out for a walk. You're out for a walk on somebody else's property. We weren't. We were on the public property okay. the entire time. Back we there? never. Back we there never. By their house. We never left. Shut up! Wow, officer. You're asking me a what? question. I asked you a question, not him. I'm trying to answer. You shut the. It. You answer the this question. That's very non-professional. All the way back. Okay, but you were on their property. No, no, no. We followed this paved road to uh -huh. the end. Stopped. Turned around. Started coming back this way. I have video footage of it. And we were having a polite conversation with a Elliot. A polite conversation. Yes. So we had a polite, out here. Yeah. We had a polite conversation got, with Elliot got, until she called you. She came up on us yet. screaming. Because we walked. You don't need we were, to be back here. I'm on you a got, public road. We've got kids I'm on a public here. road. I have the constitutional right what? to have a back here. Right I have the constitutional right, right to be on this public road. Arrest me if you want. I'm on a public road. You can't trespass me from a public road. I can if you're on their property. No, I'm, I never set on their foot on their property. Not once, sir. I have video evidence of it. I mean, this, this is a... I have video evidence. I've never, I've never left this paved road here, sir. I promise you. You can't trespass me from the public... Don't tell me what I can and can't do. <laughs> Quit! Shut the... You leave... Shut up! Matter of fact, come here, turn around. Eventually. I'm gonna listen and I'm just gonna keep that's talking over him. You're not gonna no, joke. Okay, you're I understand, right. I understand. All right. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Well, that's all. Yeah, yeah, I didn't say I was free to go. I'm just not gonna listen to you. Until, until, yeah. Okay, so you I'm being charged with harassment? You had your ID on? I don't know, no. Uh, can I charge her with harassment? If you were interested in seeing videos, would you like to see the way that she talked to me? Did I show you the video of the way she talked to me? Nah, we're, we're good now, partner. Like, can I charge her with harassment? You can't charge her with anything. Why not? Because you're not a police officer. Well, I mean, okay, well, who's pressing these charges then? This state? 
Yeah, yeah, Kentucky law says that, that when you give somebody a citation, you have to give them your business card as a law enforcement officer. We'll find out in court. Now, this is crazy. Did you all notice that when the officer arrived at the scene, he didn't even ask the couple if those guys trespass? He just decided off the back that it did. If I were those guys, I will be suing the county and the officer for bad behavior. Unbelievable. You all got to see this to believe it. A Karen was spotted at Atlanta International Airport acting erratically. And I'm definitely sure she was placed on the no-fly list forever. Take a look. I don't know what she's doing. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Stop resisting. In my opinion, I think they were way too slow in apprehending that Karen. Can you all imagine if something worse had happened that day at the airport? Oh my goodness. Now this is mind-blowing. An employee at Walmart claims to write down a description of a customer on her notepad because it didn't have a receipt. Yikes. Take a look. What's your description? What time you were in here? What you have taken out and in the cameras? Mm -hmm. You can take, you can get, you want to write my name down? Okay. Well, now I'll just write your description. What? 
Bro, what are you talking about, man? So you do that because I don't yeah. have a receipt? Yeah. So you write my name down. No, you're what you look I mean you write my description down. Then when you come in here next time or cameras focus on you. You know I came in here to get dip. All right, but go ahead. You focus on me you, and yeah, see. And they follow you every place you go. Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> so because I don't have a receipt, yes. you write down my description mm -hmm. and what I have in my hand. And yeah. every time y'all come every time I come back in here Y'all watch me on the cameras, and whoever the security is, follow me around the store. Yeah. So you'll see that and say, oh, Code 99, he back in here again. Yep. Wow. That's Walmart. Wow. Yes. They tell y'all to do that? Oh, well, yeah, this is our job. See, we're AP. Access Protection now. Are you serious? Yep. So they... Oh wow! So that's what that's what the asset protection we're do. Door, we're not door greeters. Oh okay. Ooh. Wow. So write down the description and yeah. then wow, Papers follow you around the store. I ain't think y'all can follow nobody around the store. That's yeah. like that's like profiling or something, man. Yeah. Eh? Oh. Oh. Can I see your receipt, sir? All right. Well, thanks. I appreciate that information. Okay. Thank you. I don't know about you guys, but. I would really love to see Karen's description of that customer on her notepad. Wow. Finally, on this outrageous episode of Karen Shenanigans, you all won't believe what this Karen did to her boyfriend right in public at a fast food restaurant. Take a look at this. If you watch this video to the end, please do not forget to indicate in the comment section. Karen, you need to take a chill pill for real. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all.